Hi there. My name is Ted Stresmiri, and I am the co-founder of SkyDeploy. Um, funny enough, my co-founder tag comes from the fact that my other side of the business, my other co-founder, was a StudentWorks alumni. And uh, we've come a long way since then and took some lifelong lessons from the program. And nowadays, we find ourselves studying parking lots. Uh, it's a really unique situation, and it's, uh, it's something that is growing very quickly. Um, and our, our main um, you know, our main purpose here is to identify where parking lots are going underutilized. There's a ton of space out there that's not being used properly, and it's not generating revenue for their owners. So we we came in and we said, hey, there's got to be a better way to collect this data. And this data we know is valuable to people because we can we can tell right away where these areas of opportunity are. Um, let's package that up in a format that is very accessible and that just makes sense and is irrebutable. Uh, so irrefutable. So the the that has led us to where we are now. And uh, I couldn't have been here without the life lessons and the the really hard decisions I had to make as a, as an operator during my two years at Student Works. Uh, I, I I learned uh, really big things and I learned really small things. Um, and and every day I reflect and I sort of you know, even sometimes unknowingly do something that I, that I picked up uh, from that time uh, in my life. Um, by far, I think the most important thing that I uh, took away from it was the concept of delayed gratification. I, I learned that term uh, during training. Uh, I'm pretty sure Chris probably brought it up. Um, and, and I've never been able to let go of that feeling that you know, while what I'm doing right now isn't immediately valuable to me uh, in term in monetary terms, um, it's it's infinitely valuable to me in the skills and and the long term vision of what I hope to do. So don't be discouraged when things get hard. Um, you're going to see high highs and low lows, uh, but putting yourself in those difficult situations is just going to make you better at dealing with those high highs and low lows um, and, and taking care of yourself appropriately to do that. So I, I think you're, if, if you're considering a student works program, I think it's a step in the right direction. Uh, definitely reflect on yourself before. Ask yourself, am I able to take this risk right now? Is this risk worth it to me in the future? Um, and am I okay with with working hard and not seeing much return right away, but then seeing return in the future? And, and, and that delay is, is going to be long. It might be short, but it's going to be there. Everybody's going to have it. Um, and, and because it's not working out for you right now, if you're putting in that work, I promise you that'll work out for you. You have a great team and a great system. And, uh, and your leaders um, today are, are, are ingraining into you things that you will take when you become a leader. Um, and, and our leaders need to have as much empathy as possible. Uh, so please uh, focus on, on those key, uh, key points that your coach drives home. And uh, I'm really thankful for the opportunities I had. And, and, I've, and I'll, I'll continue to look back at it. And uh, every time I run into somebody that had a similar experience at Student Works, which has happened, it definitely has happened, and it's happened in some you know really unique situations. Um, you know, it just comes back to the fact that similar people um, take on these these challenges, and uh, and they're usually who you find uh, behind large companies and, and even small companies that are very successful. So. Um, Good, good luck to you and, and, and good job in, in, in signing up for Student Works and I, I wish you the best.